next team out here that's in trouble. Yeah, the Angels, I mean, they've got a lot of work to do to kind of rebuild the infrastructure of this organization, Lee. What do you think is going to happen up in Anaheim? Uh, decision day is coming. Uh, decision days for the owner, decision days for the general manager, decision day as it relates to the guy in the dugout. Crushed by injuries, 73 and 89, a team that we thought had pushed themselves to the doorstep of being a wild card team with all the deals they made at the trade deadline. And they fell apart because of all the injuries. But it's bigger It's bigger than that. Does Artie Moreno want to be an owner any longer? Does the general manager, Perry Manasian, deserve more time to try to complete this massive rebuild? And do you give any credit to Phil Nevin for holding the team together after they were beheaded because of all the significant of the injuries, first Trout, then Otani, and the ongoing mess with Rendon? Mike Trout on Sunday makes the public pledge of allegiance. He wants to stay in Anaheim, does not want to be treated. Otani, four minutes standing ovation, final home game of the season, final home game, period, We're in an angel uniform. And then Anthony Rondon, three years of bitter disappointment because of all the injuries. So there's a lot of questions, and it just does, does not have to do with the guy in the dugout, the manager. It's got to do starting at top. What is this owner going to do to try to restore the franchise? Can he resuscitate his own image and reputation in Anaheim and Orange County? Because he's not held in very much regard by virtually anybody. And he's really been critiqued and condemned across the baseball circles too, John. Yeah, so he he kind of had one foot out the door about a year ago, right? He was trying to sell the team. What what happened? Didn't that, did he not get any bidders or did he have second thoughts? Because it seems to me you've got to make a change at the very, very top Artie Moreno may not be the right guy for this position. He's tried hard. He's made some good acquisitions. He's made some horrible mistakes, and he's been beset by a ton of problems. I really thought the drug incident with his PR director, the players in the clubhouse, the terrible death of Tyler Skaggs uh, drove him from baseball. But then he came back after he did. He had three offers for the club at significant profit, and he elected because he does love baseball. He elected to stay. But he's still got a stadium issue he's trying to resolve with the city of Anaheim. Of course, that led to the resignation of the mayor on a corruption charge. He's obviously got a farm system that's still way down the ladder in terms of ratings. He's got all kinds of injury problems. And now he's got Otani as a free agent. Um, at one point, I was a huge Artie Moreno backer. But just based on all the mistakes he's made, and the way he's treated people, I, I, I just don't know that this guy can come forward and have any credibility within his own community. You remember so when that. Do you remember when he bought the team and then they uh, had $5 beers and everyone was really excited for Artie Moreno? Well, uh, that yeah, but that was way back in the day. Yeah, back I mean, but the, the, the fans the loved day. him at the beginning. <laughs> back in the day does not mean very much when you've missed the playoffs seven years in a row and you've wasted away some valuable years of A, Trout, and B, Otani. Yeah. Of course, the third team here on the West Coast is the Dodgers with 100 wins in their pocket. Now they get the five days off to reset the button with their starting rotation, and the Dodgers are going to the playoffs once we get through wild card weekend. And that being said, John, we go to the wild card weekends. 